First, my open. The Washington, D.C. swamp has officially entered surreal territory. Why? Because they know that justice is coming. The Democrats have turned into the angry, unreasonable mob that you usually see in the movies. But have you ever seen a real-life bunch of crazies so desperate to hang on to a narrative dispelled by their own team that they're running around like chickens with their own heads cut off? Their one mantra, impeach anyone who gets in their way. And this week, it was this man, Attorney General Bill Barr. Now, Barr voluntarily testified before the Senate Judiciary Committee regarding his four-page conclusion of Mueller's 400-plus page report. He did so until the whole report, subject to legally mandated redactions, could be released. No Democrats took advantage of Barr's offer to look at the less redacted report. They didn't even want to see it. But the show put on by the hysterical, hyperventilating, histrionic, frenzied Democrats dripping with hate and venom was must-see TV. Mr. Barr, now the American people know that you are no different from Rudy Giuliani or Kellyanne Conway or any of the other people who sacrificed their once decent reputation for the grifter and liar who sits in the Oval Office. You, the chief law enforcement officer, not only undermines your own credibility as an independent actor, where you seem to not even be willing to be in the least bit critical in, in your summarizations. I, I believe that calls in your credibility. I think you've I've made seen, it clear that of, you've not looked I've at the evidence. We can move on. I've I think it, you've made it clear, sir, that you've not looked at the evidence, and we can day. move on. Eventually. I think the American public has seen quite well that you are biased in this situation and you've not been objective. You did exactly what I thought you'd do. It's why I voted against your confirmation. I expected you would try to protect the president, and indeed you did. Being Attorney General of the United States is a sacred trust. You have betrayed that trust. America deserves better. You should resign. Barr, on the other hand, was lucid, focused, and unflappable. No surprise, the calls for his resignation or impeachment were immediate and simply the latest outrage and unsupported demands of the loony left. Should Barr resign? Well, I think he should. There's no sugarcoating this. I think he should step down. I think that Barr should resign. And if he does not resign, he should be facing impeachment proceedings hmm. also. He lied to Congress. If, and if anybody else did that, it would be considered a crime. He clearly misled the American people. He seems to have uh, testified non-truthfully. He is seeking to help Donald Trump. He should resign. We need an attorney general who has credibility with the American people. So I will be writing him a letter and sending it to him this morning, asking him explicitly these questions and asking him if he stands by his statement. Because if he does, he should not be attorney general. But then to add more drama to a report that defeated the mainstream media's Trump-Russia collusion fiction, the left weaves yet a new web that Barr is misrepresenting the Mueller report. A letter written to Barr on Mueller letterhead suggests that Barr's conclusions did not fully capture the content and substance of findings by Mueller. The left does its crazy dance again. The truth? Barr offered Mueller the opportunity to review the conclusions, but Mueller declined. Upon receipt of the letter, Barr calls Mueller and says, what's the issue? I asked him if he was suggesting that the March 24th letter was inaccurate, and he said no, but that the press reporting had been inaccurate. Now, ain't that special? Even Robert Mueller now thinks the mainstream media can't get the news right. Hey, Bob, go complain to your pals. Comey, have them call the New York Times, CNN, MSNBC. What makes you think that Barr can convince the mainstream media to say the truth? And next time, Bob, let's hope there never is one for you. Don't write a 448-page report and expect everyone to get it just the way you wanted it in four pages. Look, folks, the left simply refuses to accept that the Mueller investigation is over and that justice is coming for them. 
They are fixated on obstruction, but make no mistake. If Mueller wanted an indictment for obstruction, he would have recommended one. Hell, they even indicted George Papadopoulos for getting a date wrong. He could have recommended an indictment for obstruction, but he didn't. Didn't Mueller look into that for two years? Didn't he have an army of investigators, search warrants, subpoenas, a grand jury? Look, I said it weeks ago. It was political whoremanship. It was Mueller's attempt to satisfy an unsatisfied client by leaving crumbs that the Democrats could fight over. Now, this whole thing has been the biggest political con job and the closest attempt to a successful coup in American history. Everything I said in my book, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, was right. They hate Trump, and they'll do anything, including subjugating the Constitution and our system of justice, to destroy the man. Their desperation to hang on to a narrative so torn up, worn out, and destroyed, it isn't even entertaining anymore. It's not even worth talking about anymore. I'm done with it. But what is worth talking about is how the tables will turn. Sources tell me there's an investigation into how this counterintelligence investigation into Trump began. It's time to investigate the beginning of this coup and who in the DOJ, FBI, and White House signed on to prevent and overturn the will of the American people. Grab your popcorn, folks. It's showtime. It's showtime. Multiple criminal leak investigations are underway. The FISA warrants are being reviewed. The beginning of the actual investigation that Peter Strzok tried so hard to cover up and the inspector general's report expected to be damning to Comey's FBI and Lynch's DOJ will be out in weeks. And then it's real showtime for Obama, Brennan, Clapper, Lynch, Rice, Strzok, McCabe, Rose and the whole Cardinal Comey crime family devoted to obstruction, obstructing not only the will of the American people, but obstructing the very foundation of justice in this great nation. And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook and Twitter. Hashtag Judge Janine.